Well, tonight, WJCL continues to remember former Savannah Mayor Floyd Adams, who passed away this week. The family of Savannah's first black mayor received friends and loved ones today at the resurrection of Our Lord Catholic Church. WJCL's Renee LaSalle was at that wake and joins us now with more. Kevin Jennifer, many memories were shared of our former mayor tonight at that wake. The crowd started gathering early for those who wanted to pay respects to Floyd Adams and to his family. Adams is remembered as a unifier and an advocate for growth. Tonight, he was also remembered as a good friend. Hundreds crowded the sanctuary at the resurrection of our Lord Catholic Church to honor the memory and the family of former mayor Floyd Adams. Thank you for sharing Floyd with all of us. Adams was recognized by a proclamation from the city and a resolution from the state legislature. He was no politician. Floyd Adams was a public servant. His family even received a letter from the governor. But for his cousin, Rosalind Jones, he wasn't a public figure. He was the closest friend. But we spoke every day, almost every day. Jones said the outpouring of support and the sheer numbers at the wake spoke to the nature of the man. It is also it is special, very special. Adams served two terms as Savannah's first black mayor. He was also an elderman for 13 years. He is credited with improving the city's infrastructure, creating community centers, working for the city's poor and its business sector, and bringing the city together. Mayor Edna Jackson says he will be greatly missed. Floyd Adams, a mayor for all people. Thank you for sharing Floyd Adams. Now, Adams is survived by his wife, Deborah, and their two adult children. Funeral services for the mayor are tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock at St. James Catholic Church here in Savannah. Now, Kevin, Jennifer, those services are open to the public and many are expected to attend. All right. Thanks so all right. much. Thanks, Renee.